Campaigns in Salesforce. In this video, I'm gonna be explaining exactly what they are, how to use them, and why they could really benefit your marketing efforts. Just before I get into the video, if you need any help with Salesforce setup or training, check out the link below, we would love to help. But as you can see here, I am in our Salesforce system. This is just an example system. Now, the first thing I am going to do is head over to the campaigns area. Now, sometimes you might not be able to see it using the navigation bar up the top here. If you can't just use the three by three dotted button on the far left hand side and just search for campaigns. And as you can see, that will populate as an item. So you go ahead and click that. Now, the first thing that I'm going to mention is changing the view. If you have got it as pinned recently viewed, you might want to change that to all active campaigns and then just select that. That's a force of habit that I have. Um, anytime I'm using a Salesforce system, I find that very, very annoying. Now we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and explain exactly what campaigns are. So campaigns are a means of tracking your marketing activities inside of the Salesforce system. The reason we would want to do this is because we can then see how many opportunities have come from a particular campaign. So you can see what's been successful, what's not been so successful, and then you can improve and make changes accordingly. So later on in this video, I'm gonna show you how to associate an opportunity with a campaign, and then you'll be able to see the close one, close one percentages, and how, how successful or unsuccessful a particular ca campaign had been. So now you're aware of what they are, I'm gonna show you how to create one. So if you go to the campaigns area like we're on now, and go to the new button in the top right hand corner. It's gonna ask you for some relevant information regarding your campaign. So you've got a few status options, in progress, completed, aborted, or planned. So you can go ahead and select whichever one is relevant. You can then give your campaign a name. So I'm just gonna call this example campaign. There we go. Um, and then you go ahead and tick whether it's active or not. Then you can select the type of campaign. So whether it is an advertisement, an email, telemarketing, so on and so forth. I would recommend maybe adjusting this uh, in the back end of the system to be more suitable to your business um, and what you do. Uh, there will be some organizations, some clients of ours do some uh, slightly different campaign types to any of these, um, but they work very, very successfully. So worth adjusting that if you need to. If there is a parent campaign associated with this campaign, you are able to connect them. So if you've got an overarching campaign that you're doing with one message and then there are smaller campaigns within that, you can go ahead and associate the parent with the child campaign. Very, very helpful. And then we've got description as well. This is just going to inform you and other members of the organization what that campaign is in relation to. And then we've got some key information about planning. So we can go ahead and enter in the start date. So let's say we're starting on Monday and we're gonna end for the end of the month, July. And we can mark our expected revenue in campaign, the budgeted cost, the actual cost, which I'm sure as you probably know, very much differs a lot of the time. We then have numbers sent in campaign. So this is the amount of things you might be sending, whether that be emails, letters, uh, you could arguably include phone calls in this. Um, but if you're sending something, you want to track how much you've sent of it. This is where you would mark that information. And then we've got an expected response rate by percentage. So you can go ahead and say, let's say I expect roughly a 10% response rate. I'm going to be sending a thousand, um, let's say letters, for example, I don't know. And then you can mark your expected revenue and so on and so forth, like I've mentioned. So once you're happy with your campaign, you go ahead and press the save button. That will then bring you to this page here. So now we've created a campaign, head over to the details page. And as you can see, the information that we entered in when we created the campaign is visible, but if you scroll down, we've got this results area. Now this is the really clever part, okay? This is, this is where the, the true benefit of using campaigns comes in. Because you can see here, we've got number of responses from a campaign, leads in a campaign, converted leads in campaign, contacts in campaign, opportunities in campaign, one opportunities in campaign, value of opportunities in campaign, and value one opportunities in campaign. This is all pre-calculated. You, you do not need to do the mathematics behind this. This will be worked out by the Salesforce system when you associate leads, when you associate opportunities with a particular campaign, okay? So, that's why this is so, so beneficial. You can see the performance of your campaign in relation to the opportunities and the number of leads that the business has generated. Very, very helpful indeed. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is demonstrate how to associate an opportunity with a campaign. So what we need to do is head over to our opportunities area. And I'm gonna use the CRM crew, Nick Wardman opportunity that I created for this video and click into this. 
Now, what you should be able to see or you should be able to have as a field on your Salesforce opportunities area is primary campaign source field. Now, what you can go ahead and do is edit this and associate your campaign with the opportunity. So whichever campaign, whichever campaign the opportunity came from, you can go ahead and connect it. Go ahead and press the save button. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in an amount as well, let's say 10,000 and hit the save option. So now what I'm gonna do is head back to our campaigns area and go to, uh, as this campaign's not active, I need to go to recently viewed, click into that example campaign that we created earlier. As you can see, that opportunity is now associated with the campaign. But better yet, if we go to the details area, we can see that there is one opportunity associated with this campaign with a value of £10,000 as we dictated when we updated the opportunities information. So this is why it's so, so, so useful. Now, to get even more extensive with this information, of course, you can begin to run reports. Now, I've done a separate video on reports. You're more than welcome to check that out using the link somewhere above here. I can't go into too much detail on that. Otherwise, this video would be seven hours long. Um, but <laughs> you can see why this is going to be so, so, so useful to just track the performance of your marketing efforts against the number of opportunities that you have managed to generate. The same principle applies for contacts and leads as well. So you can associate a particular lead with an, a, camp, a marketing campaign and then you can see what the performance of that campaign has been. Now, if you generate hundreds of leads and then you can see that 20% of those converted and then you've got 20 sales opportunities and then you can see what the value of those are and how many have won, that's when the data gets really, really useful. So hopefully this has been insightful, explained exactly what campaigns are, why you'd look to use them and how to use them in your Salesforce system. Thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.